Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moose so we're here here for another reading for the sign of Aries. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watches, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. There's no time, no gender, and tarot. And this is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. Hope you guys are feeling good. All right. Feeling highly favored. All right. It's Monday. I know it's a drag, but we here, right? We here. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend and just ready to embark in a new what? week all right the card that came out for you is justice oh let's talk about it let's talk about it people don't believe in karma but karma comes in many forms and it will be served it will be served in any platform you decide for it to be served in take it how it resonates okay agent wires all right someone is definitely coming fast in a hurry especially coming for you all right this person has something to tell you all right even if you <clears throat> excuse me do not decide to take this person back if you decide not to allow this person back into your life hear them out this is not something that you've you've been wait you've waited for i'm not saying that you've been waiting for but you have waited for in the past with this 11 on there taking back your power Holding your stance key. There's a difference between how you used to wait for this person's change. How now you're just standing in your power, knowing your worth and understanding and valuing who you are. Is making this person chase you. So where the runner, right, becomes the chaser. Because you are standing in your power. You know what value you hold into this connection and in this person's life. See, there's no fabricating. You're not here to play around. You're not here to mimic people. You're not here to make people feel, you know, belittle people, make people feel they're small. You're not. But in a sense, when karma does come around, you kind of feel this sense of, I told you so. If you didn't see the love that I had for you before, I mean, if it took you now to see it while I'm gone, then that's your learning curve. But that doesn't mean that I have to be there while you learn your lesson. And that's growth. And when I say that is that just because someone established what they had does not mean, okay, I wanted this so bad at that time, but now... I realized my worth. If this person didn't understand to make some certain changes when I was ready and wait, willing to wait for them, then how dare I disrespect me to stay when they should have already known I've been loyal. I've been that, lo that, that, that sacred person that they should have kept. See, this is what your person is going to learn once they come and approach you, hear them out. Like I said, hear them out. Hear them out. Let them express these emotions to you because this person <laughs> had hit some hard corners and realized that you was protecting them from them corners. All right? From them areas that you knew that was going to be det detrimental, hinder them, stop them, block them from moving forward. They didn't get that. Instead, they took it as a competition. They took it as a threat. When all you've been showing them that it's not about being a threat, it's about loving yourself. If you see me loving myself as a threat, you shouldn't be aligned with me. You're not aligned with me. And this is why some of you guys are going to hear this person out, but you are not letting them back in. Because if this person sees you as a threat for loving who you are, I don't want to be with you. Because you should want a woman or man 
that love themselves enough to not tolerate nothing. No foolishness. Okay? No betrayal. No deceit. Why wouldn't you love me for knowing when someone is lying to me? Why shouldn't you love me enough to know that I can see through the bullshit? How could you not love me for loving me much more enough to understand my value? Even when at times you don't. And if you don't love me for loving me, then you shouldn't be in my life. And for most of us, as the ones who got to put that stance, it is a hard pill to swallow because we love these people, right? You, we go hard for these people, right? But I'm not going as hard if you ain't going hard for me. I'm not scraping my knees if you 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 can't scrape your knees like and and, and slap on a bandage and and call it a day. And um, excuse me for my metaphors, but if you haven't been around lately, my metaphors is something interesting. But I mean what I mean, and I mean what I say. When I say that certain people don't mind falling and then slap a bandage off and then carry on. While others who fall and understand and look at those scrapes and wonder how they got there. And why this, this scar now is placed upon them and what they went through. There's levels to learning. There's levels to understanding, and this is exactly why if this person decides to come into your life, you want them to understand that you tried. You want them to understand that you stayed. You want them to understand that you waited so you couldn't wait anymore. And if this means a chance loss for them, that's something that they should have been prepared for. See, certain people with their pride and their ego live in, as someone has told me, in a glass house. Who believes that nothing can be touched towards them or it, they got to be a certain way. You're letting this person understand and know that you love yourself enough to let go. And know to apply the pressure where the pressure is going to be reciprocated. This person is rushing in and it's not going to stop them from rushing in. It's just going to give you the chance to accept it or let it go. They want to tell you some things. They got a lot of things bottled up inside. They want to tell you what they've been through through this time apart. Can't make this up. Nine of wires. This person is coming through and don't even understand if they come in in the darkness or if they come in in the light just because they're scared. They're afraid of your reaction. They're afraid of your response. See, this person sat there and listened to other people creating this narrative, creating this life for them. And then realizing that this these people had did not have their best interests at heart. Your person is coming in with a grain of salt because they're hoping you understand where they're coming from. They're hoping you understand that they're sorry. It's taking a lot for this person, I'm telling you, because... They're still conflicted. They don't know if they really want to be as vulnerable as they know their heart feels right now. While their mind's telling them, uh, and their ego is talking to them like, uh, but they're going to do it. They have no choice. Because they see that you're not making no effort anymore and you're not looking back. And that's what challenges their integrity. That's what challenges their feelings. That's what challenges their emotions. That's what challenges their fear. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, love, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate